episode story number 12, Niffle's Spiritual Discovery. At Niffle's cozy underground magical cavern filled with the soft glow of countless dream bottles, Niffle, the tiny dream keeper, is busy preparing a glowing dream bottle. His eyes sparkle with excitement as he clicks his fingers and teleports to the next nighttime destination. A delivery to a young boy named Harish. Niffle materialises at Harish's bedroom, where he sleeps peacefully. Then he teleports to the top of the bed and carefully places the dream bottle near the boy's pillow. Sweet dreams, little rum. With his task complete, Niffle is about to click his fingers to his cavern when he hears a strange humming noise coming from one of the rooms in the house. What's that noise? That feeling? Intrigued by the sound, he walks down the hallway, getting closer to the humming. Hmm, what is it? Niffle walks through the wall and finds him in a serene room where Harish's father is deep in meditation. Niffle curiously tiptoes closer to observe. What's he doing? As Niffle inches closer, he notices a strange ethereal glow around the man and tunes into his energy. It's Ravi. He places his hand on one leg and looks up to his face. What are you doing, Ravi? You're not dreaming. Suddenly, Ravi's astral form appears next to his body, looking directly at Niffle. What are you doing to my body, you creature? Get off! Niffle jumps back, his eyes wide with surprise. He stammers nervously, in shock, looking at both Ravi's physical form and his ethereal clone. I I'm not doing anything, I'm just curious. What are you doing? Are you a creature of Svaga? An afterlife being? No, no, I hope people remember their dreams. I mean no harm. I'm just a dream keeper. Ravi's astral form examines Niffle closely, his initial fear giving way to curiosity. Dream keeper? Hmm? I see. I've heard of beings like you in our old stories. It's best you'd leave immediately. It's okay, I mean no harm. I've never met someone leave their body before. It's fascinating. Ravi looks concerned, but before he can respond, he is drawn back into his physical body. He opens his eyes, looking around the room, but can no longer see Niffle. Who was that creature? What was it doing to my body? Was it trying to get in? It's me, Ravi! It's Niffle! Niffle says, waving his arms and watching silently, eventually realising that Ravi can only see him while in meditation. With a thoughtful nod, Niffle clicks his fingers and teleports back to his cavern. Back in his cavern, Niffle sits down, pondering the experience he just had. So he can see me only when he's out of body. I must learn more about these meditations. Niffle's encounter with Ravi opened up a new world of possibilities. What more could he learn from those who travel beyond their physical forms? The adventures of Niffle, the dreamkeeper, continue. <laughs>